Welcome to Shrop Arts, your window into the world of arts in Shropshire. Today I'm at the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, looking at two very different artistic endeavours, glass and the written word. My first artist works in the World Heritage Site in the Ironbridge Gorge. I found his workshop in a building that was once used to make pottery in the Coalport China Museum. But now Jonathan Harris uses it to make beautiful objects out of glass. Hello, Jonathan. Hi, Vicky. Hi, oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're right. Yes, very good, thank so you. So this is where it all happens. Yeah, welcome to our studio. Vicky, this is where we make our hot glass, starting with a furnace in the corner there that sits at a temperature of about 1,060 degrees Celsius. Whoa, right. This is the industrial, practical, hot side of things, isn't it's it? It's where it all starts. Everything we make starts there with our furnace of molten glass. So we're building up layers of colour in lots of different formats, chips and powders, and sometimes gold leaf and silver leaf, and it's this combination of textures and patterns that we can apply at this stage in the hot process before the shape is formed that is the core of our hot studio techniques. So where is your heart then, Jonathan? Is it here in the, in the practical, yeah. hot, sweaty side of things, or is it in the more beautiful, creative, final product? Um, it's impossible to say. They're two halves of the same, um, two sides of one coin. Um, both sets of techniques that we bring together and unite create the special bits of glass that we make, and it's that combination of hot glass making and cold glass making that makes us unique, makes us special. Uh, if you'd like to have a little look next door, oh, I can show you some of the pieces that we made previously. Thank you. <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! It's beautiful. I don't, where do you even begin with something as complex as that? Well, glass is this amazing material that has so many opportunities for colour and texture and pattern and we begin by building up layers of those colours and textures to create our, our designs. It's this combination, this unique combination of hot and cold glass making techniques that really makes us special. Your work is very organic and very natural. Is that important? Yes. Well, there's a fabulous synergy yes. between um, molten hot glass and the organic subject matter that we choose. A lot of it's drawn from nature, so we have flowers and birds, flora and fauna, and it's this combination of a sympathetic subject matter with this uh, synergy with the hot glass that, that really excites us. Every piece of glass we make starts with hot, hot glass. Perhaps you'd like to have a go? Yes, please, that would be great. Yeah. So it's moving already now. So start blowing. Here we go. There we go. Deep breath. Go again. Oh, let it go. Keep going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, obviously, you have to be incredibly vigilant with children here in the glass studio, and Jonathan and the team make sure of their safety. But with Catherine Cooper's work, well, she wants the kids to jump right in, right into the thick of it. The Golden Acorn is book one in a series um, all about Jack Brennan. He's a young boy who moves to Shropshire against his will because he likes living in Greece where he's been born. Um, he comes to live with his grandfather, he knows nobody, and his life changes the moment a golden acorn lands on his head. And from there he enters a magical, mystical world he only believed existed in legend, and he is actually living that legend. Had entered it into the uh, Brit Writers' Competition I hadn't expected to win. There was 22,000 people had entered the competition and I just wanted to put the word finalist on the front of my self-published book so maybe a publisher or an agent would take me seriously. I got through to the final eight and I went to the O2 in London to a big ceremony and my name was called out as the winner of the best children's story for 2010. And then they came to the climax of the evening and said the winner of the Bit Writers Best Writer of the Year 2010 is Catherine Cooper. 
It was an absolutely amazing evening. It, it changed my life. The Rekin is a big inspiration for me. I can no longer get up there. I would love to get up there again. My main character is a raven, and the raven's bow plays a big part in the story as well. It's part of the ritual that they go through to do something very special to Jack. There are already three books published in the Jack Brennan series. There's another one due out this year and another one planned for next year. And Hollywood film producers have been interested in the series. It's totally changed my life, but at the heart of all this is, is my love of children, reading and writing, and it will always be there, no matter what happens. The Golden Acorn. It could almost be one of Jonathan's art pieces, couldn't it? That's it for this edition of Shrop Arts. I'll see you next time.